Hello! We'll start by selecting our image. Go ahead and press OK. Then we'll drag that down into our project timeline. And the first method we're going to do here is just a automated square, which is going to basically use mask to crop out what we don't want. Go ahead and select that in your toolbox. Select your layer as well. And we're going to go ahead and press shift on our keyboard and click and drag to get the size of our shape. If you want a rectangle, feel free to not press shift. That will give you a nice rectangle as well. Once you're happy with that, you can double click it to drag it around or select the layer and reselect your image to drag the entire layer. The next method we're going to do is changing the actual composition height and width. So go over to composition, composition settings. I'm going to change the width to 300 and the height to 300 as well, just for the sake of making a square, but feel free to use any dimensions you wish. And there you have it. Feel free to scale down by pressing S on your keyboard. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and right click on our layer, choose pre-compose and move all attributes to the new composition with the image and note overcuts, which is quite nice. The third and final method that we're going to do is a freehand masking technique to crop out a specific image or object on your layer. So I'll go ahead and show you how to make a square. It's not going to be perfect, so I'd recommend you do the first method if you're looking for definite shapes. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and show you this. So we'll do the head. We won't click and drag either, that'll give us nice sharp points. As you can see, you can select each individual point and move it around as you wish. So I will show you another way. Press M on the keyboard and delete that mask. I'm going to go ahead now and mask the spoon in the image. And this is going to be a very precise manual selection. So clicking and dragging all across until a black screen appears. Make sure those last two points have been connected properly. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!